Hi everyone, this is Sabina from Origami, and today I will share you 11 tips to help you build a killer SharePoint internet in 2024. Let's go! Number one, make it look like a website. Out of all the tips here, this one is timeless. The most successful internets have always looked up to websites for inspiration. If you want your internet to be adopted, it should look familiar to what employees see out there online. So, how do you make your SharePoint look like a website in 2024? First thing you can do is use modern fonts. Using modern fonts will make your page look like a beautiful postcard. Here's an example of how that might look like on a home page. Another thing you can do is make the top of your page feel like it has come to life with a video banner. Keep it simple and you'll create a great user experience without compromising the page's loading speed. Number three, you can use floating quick links. This glass effect where links look like they're floating over the banner make the page look light and modern. Also, you'll have more space to fit in something else right under the banner. And lastly, use company colors everywhere. Consistent use of company colors will make your SharePoint look rich and easy to navigate. But no need to overthink it. Just use your company's primary and maybe secondary color. And you will make the page look simple and professional. Number two, keep all calendars and events in one place. I met with someone just last week. And this company set up separate landing pages on their SharePoint for each department, just so each department can post their department events and deadlines. These weren't private department sites. These were just landing pages for everyone to see. So, for example, HR would have their calendar. Finance would have their calendar with deadlines. Learning and development would post training events. You name it. Everybody had a page. The problem with this setup was that if I'm an employee, I probably don't check other department pages as much as I should. So all that information is basically siloed and practically no one is aware it's there. And what's the point of having a department page at this point? One of the improvements we've added was a centralized calendar right on the home page showing events across department sites. These events were categorized and color-coded. Now everyone was able to see what is coming this month without having to dig for it. Department owners were still in charge of their department calendars, which now could be updated right from Outlook. This also meant less training because people already know how to use Outlook. So quick changes like that simplified their entire SharePoint setup and made things more user-friendly. Number three, Make it so important resources are at users' fingertips. You know what's one thing everyone agrees on when they talk to them about SharePoint? Is that searching SharePoint, let's just say, is not great. The search bar at the top will return just about anything except for the thing you're looking for. Okay, it's not always that bad, but it's far from ideal. The problem with that search bar at the top is that it returns too many results. When someone is searching for, say, a remote access manual, they get 10 other documents that have a word remote access in them. Which one is the right one? That's how people end up sending documents to each other through email or Teams. The solution is to give your employees a one-stop shop library of most commonly needed resources, forms, templates, policies and procedures, and maybe manuals. For this, you can use out-of-the-box document library. Even better solution is this Origami Finder app because you can show results from multiple libraries at once and it's nice that you can search or preview a document before you open it. Plus, it looks modern and easy to use. Tip number four, personalize pages. Okay, so I had a call with someone another day and they showed me their SharePoint page. At first, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The page basically had 40 bucks on it. Turns out, it was their home page. This company tried to make it so all employees could access everything. But people ended up overwhelmed. 
They didn't click any of those links. Instead, they just bookmarked things right in their browser. What a waste of SharePoint site. The page was basically targeted to no one. It's just too much noise. Here are the things we recommend personalizing on your SharePoint homepage. Number one, make sure the page greets employees with their names. This is something people are used to these days with online ordering apps. It lets them know that the page is smart and has some content targeted to them. Number two, target quick links to groups of employees that need them. Not all links to everyone, especially if you have a lot of them. Number three, if you have offices or stores in different geographies, target news and events. Nobody wants to see relevant alerts or announcements. You might want to show different events to managers, such as training that only applies to managers. Number four, resource directory. Not everyone needs access to everything. For example, managers need onboarding procedures and forms which should be viewed only by them. You can target them as needed. This should get you started with a much cleaner page. Number five, add social. Here's where most companies go wrong about social on the internet. They add public social feeds to their homepage and that's it. Analytics show that people don't usually click on those feeds. And you might even think that it's the worst outcome, but far worse would be them accidentally oversharing something in public feed thinking it's internal. What employees do like on the internet is company insider social. So things like new employee welcomes, or milestone celebrations, or shout outs, and so on. Giving the feed a particular topic like that will help keep the feed on point and encourage more people to use it. Tip number six, use short videos. You know the saying, a picture worth a thousand words? Well, about a month ago, we helped launch an internet for a client that used video on their internet in ways I personally haven't seen before. What they did is they created small skits, one to two minutes long, to explain things like a password policy and why it's important. How do you connect to an office printer? Or safety 101 when visiting a production facility? What made this video so popular is that they had a bit of humor that turned these dry and boring topics into something people said they were looking forward to. Tip number seven, give people a staff directory. Okay, so we run this thing called heat map analytics on some of our top customers' SharePoint sites. It gives us a heat map view of what people use most on the page. You're looking at the anonymized example of this here. So as you can see, the brighter the color, the more people spend time on this part of the page and click on this web part. And what do we have here? Staff directory, fingerprints all over it. This isn't some isolated example. Every single intranet has this pattern. So that's people directory. Use it, add it to your homepage, very helpful to employees. Number eight, give employees a place for feedback. Don't overthink it when it comes to feedback. We often use a simple text box at the end of the page and it's powerful. Sometimes people submit a feedback about something not working right, which is useful when you've just launched a new intranet. Sometimes people say they couldn't find something or some information is inaccurate. Either way, you'll learn something new at literally no cost. Tip number nine, don't reinvent the wheel, use templates. Here's a real story. About a year ago, I spoke to someone who was looking for an intranet. We had a good chat, but they decided to build their intranet from scratch because they felt it would give them more flexibility and be cheaper. Unfortunately, just a few months back, I heard that the strategy backfired. Their custom design, which at this point cost double of original estimate, didn't even come close and they had to cut their losses and start all over again. Moral of a story, don't reinvent the wheel. It's just not worth it. There are plenty of templates that already come with beautiful designs. So why start from scratch? Tip number 10, avoid siloing content into department sites. Most organizations new to SharePoint 
start using it by creating their own department sites on SharePoint. Department leaders recognize how SharePoint can help them manage files. So one by one, each department asks to have its own site. Soon enough, there are so many sites that it's not only hard for employees to find anything within the siloed maze, but even site owners have a hard time managing content and permissions. For example, you can't easily show files from another site. Also, if I see a page another department created and I like it, and I want to make a copy of it to publish something of my own, I can't do that. I have to rebuild it. It can take hours. There is a better way. You can still have a private site for members of that department to store department specific information. Like management can have private site for finance and executive reports, but then combine information all employees have access to into a single communication site. This site would have things like news, events, employee directories, onboarding and HR resources, templates, policies, and so on. Simple, no more hunting for documents, simplified permissions, and a cleaner look. Tip number 11, avoid hub sites if you can. Hub sites are used to combine multiple SharePoint sites under one umbrella. They are a solution for a siloed department site structure we just talked about. Also, some very large organizations use hub sites because they have a lot of different SharePoint sites that are open to everyone. But most medium-sized organizations just need one communication site open to everyone and multiple private department sites like we discussed. This setup doesn't really need a hub site. It's simple and effective. And there you have it. 11 tips for a killer SharePoint intranet in 2024. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.